It's a little weird, to be honest. Um, it hasn't really, it still hasn't really sunk in yet, even though I've known that I was going to go there since middle of December, I think, is right after I went on my official visit. But um, it feels really good. It's nice to be done. No more stress. Everyone else is still freaking out about all their applications, and I'm <laughs> done. So <laughs> it's pretty exciting. I'm excited to kind of move on to the next chapter in my life. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't even know really how I heard about it, to be honest. I've always known that I wanted to go somewhere warm because I do not do winter very well. Um, and so I was looking at schools kind of more down there. And it ended up being between Tulane and um, Washington University in St. Louis. And Tulane ended up offering me a pretty good scholarship in Washington University's D3, so they couldn't offer me one. So that was really a deciding factor. And I also, obviously, when I went down there, I fell in love with it. So. I definitely do. I like, when, I, when I'm not running, I almost feel weird when I'm not doing a sport. So I think it's definitely, and plus tracking cross country is kind of, even though it's not one sport, it's all running and it's all really part of my lifestyle anyway. So it's kind of just adding on to what I'd already be doing anyway. So I'm, and I'm really excited because I think, I don't know, the competition kind of helps me academically. It helps me stay more focused. So should be good. Hopefully. Well, it definitely was a factor. My main reasons for deciding colleges were initially academic and then obviously I wanted them to have a good running program but if it was going to be a perfect academic fit and a not so good running fit then that's what was going to end up happening but with Tulane I lucked out because it's really good academically and athletically so mm -hmm. it was definitely a factor but it wasn't the main deciding factor in my decision.